a and a rarity in a sense because this is the first meeting all time between Davidson and ODU. And we are off and running. Look for this Davidson team, the offensive execution, a lot of weak side cuts as you just see right there. And Mingus really does a good job coming to the ball hard, being able to post up. Sam Meninga right to it. As we get a look at the Old Dominion starting lineup, Tyreek Scott Grayson was amazing on Friday. 26 points in the win over Furman. The layup by Dorico Williams is in to start off for ODU. I think Old Dominion has really run good offense and mixed the inside game with the perimeter shooting. You see the Davidson starting lineup, Foster Lawyer. The key guy to watch their leading scorer, but Meninga and one for Sam Meninga. He says, what about me? Meninga is so strong in that low post. He can spin right or left. And the thing is his agility and how they move him around and how he reacts to the ball movement makes this Davidson offense very, very effective. Well, Meninga, a part of an international pipeline for Davidson that was established and has really been fruitful for this program as Meninga misses the free throw. He's got all four for the Wildcats. Emo Essien. To Tariq Scott Grayson, the floater with the left hand, it trickles in. Tariq Scott Grayson getting going offensively. Down the floor quickly and fouled on the play is Reed Bailey. That's picked up by Ben Stanley. That'll be his first. One of the things Davidson tries to do is have a rim runner on every possession, and they look for a post guy that goes to the front of the rim, and they try to get him the ball for an easy two. Matt McKillop in his first season replacing the legendary Bob McKillop, his father, who really turned this into an elite program and that's got to be a tough job for Matt to follow but he started off pretty well this season. Well, Bob McKellop is one of the true gentlemen of college basketball. Uh, he's added so much class and integrity as well as coaching as far as developing young people. 5-4 game. Davidson up. Thanks for joining us here today. The fifth place game. The Charleston Classic. Tariq Scott Grayson missed the three, tipped around, grabbed by Stanley. Stanley in the lane, throws it up with the left hand, missed it, tipped up in the air and controlled by Makai Law. Scott Grayson, his runner is good. Scott Grayson had a great game yesterday. He does a really good job of slicing and getting to the basket and creating opportunities for other people. 6 5 lead. For the Monarchs. Down low, Meninga. Trying to get to Williams again. Meninga. Slips left outside with the pass for Bailey. He'll fire away from three. That misses. Long with the flip. Essien. Just over two minutes of game action gone by. Stanley right to the rim and scores. Stanley did a great job getting to the front of the rim. He didn't have a great game the first game, but yesterday he really picked it up. Ooh, Williams got popped there in the face after the Stanley layup attempt. He's grabbing his jaw. Eight-five ball game. Monarchs out in front. They shot extremely well. In the win on Friday. Let's see if they can continue that here today. Lawyer will launch. Rattles out. Long rebound. Old Dominion has to get some easy baskets. Can't make it a half-court game. Have to make it a full-court game. The Williams miss taken by Menenga. Grant Huffman. Huffman, the lob from Meninga, who says hello via Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> Davidson is so good in the half court that you, you don't want to get 
into one of those games where it's a, a strictly a half-court game with them because they will out-execute you. Meninga has six of Davidson's seven. Stanley, lefty leaner, is good. He's great at getting to the front of the rim. He catches it on either block, but he finds a way to get to the front of the rim and is able to score. Stanley leading the Monarchs in scoring over 14 points per game. It's a 10-7 lead. Brody U. Lawyer. Tries to make his way through the defense. Open three for Huffman. That's an air ball. Back over to ODU. And that leads us to our first stop on the floor. Jeff Jones has to be pleased with what he's on. 10-7. Four minutes in. Look for Jeff to change his defenses. He's not going to give Davison a, a consistent look at anything. He's done a really good job of mixing his defenses and integrating all these new players. Davison comes up with a diamond press right now. Second trip for Coach Jones and ODU to the Charleston Classic. We're here in 2017. Lost to eventual champion Temple as a part of the run. Stanley, floater again with the lefty hand, and that's he's got the touch going early. He does, especially in the front of the rim. I think whether or not you're in a man or zone, you've got to get a hand up and challenge him. And Davidson has enough size to give him some problems shooting over top of it. Five-point lead for ODU. The layup is in from David Skogman. So Skogman, averaging six points per, comes in off the bench with two early. Three-point game. Essien, who had a career performance on Friday. Now Scott Grayson. Stanley from deep. Missed it this time. Faison Fields had a beat on it, but lost it. Lawyer with a wing three. That's where Davidson, they run great half-court offense, but when they get looks in transition, they really take advantage of it. And by sending big guys to the rim, you collapse your defense, and your perimeter guys can get sometimes really good looks in transition. Lawyer with a team high, 19 three-pointers on the season after that make. 12 all. Stanley working against Skogman and the defense. Skogman at times took away the middle, so he had to go baseline. He's not Stanley's not quite as effective from the baseline as he is in the middle. Desmond Watson on the floor for the Wildcats. Huffman probing the defense. Ten to shoot. Lawyer. Contested jumper, short, Stanley Board. Corner three, short, for Makai Long. Long loved those corner jump shots. He put on a display on Friday as a part of a run for ODU. The layup by Huffman missing. And the rebound corralled. Scott Grayson with it in a 12-all game. Old Dominion wants this game to be about speed and transition. They don't want to get caught in a half-court game. And an offensive foul called there against Ben Stanley. Tonight we have the men's basketball game of the day. It's the first ever meeting between number four Kentucky and number two Gonzaga. Last season's national player of the year, Oscar Shibwe, should be back in the mix for this one to lead the Wildcats against Drew Timmy and the Bulldogs in Spokane. Coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ESPN and the app. We might see that game more than once this year. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to see that quality opponent this early in yes. the season. And I think coaches are getting out, out of their comfort zone and are really trying to play really tough opponents at their arenas instead of maybe catching them on neutral floors. Ben Stanley will head out with two fouls. He scored the last six points for Old Dominion. Tie game at 12. Skogman, double teamed, lost the ball. Scott Grayson in the lane, his layup no good. The battle down low, won by ODU, once, twice. The shot missed by Chauncey Jenkins, who's into the game. That time, Davidson did a really good job of just getting their hands up 
and making Old Dominion players have to shoot over that size, and it really bothered them. The discipline they had not to foul. ODU show, so far struggling from the field, shooting 40% to 45% clip for Davidson. Tie ball game at 12. That jumper ends a drought of six straight missed field goals by Old Dominion as Emo Essien connects. Essien really hit a short jump shot, but that was good action as they were running baseline runners. He had a career-high 13 points. And the win over Furman on Friday. Kachera. Now with 10. Skogman. Elbow jumper by Lawyer. That's good. Lawyer does a really good job of calming everybody down, not getting too excited, and then he's able to finish in the half court against pressure. He's a transfer from Michigan State. Brings a lot of energy as the team's leading scorer. He's got this game tied up at 14. 11 15 left to go before halftime. Wide open to Scott Grayson, but that got closed out quickly. Sean Logan with the long help. The size of this Davidson team is very deceptive, especially in the front line. Lawyer going to the rim to lay it in. This will be something new for this old Dominion team. Um, they, this Davidson team has size. They execute real well. Defensively, they challenge you on every shot. Last seven scored by Lawyer. And the foul here coming up off the drive by Chauncey Jenkins. There you see big time basket right there. Old Dominion in transition. And there's Lawyer coming in and getting the easy baskets there. Derek Jones and Perry Clark with you from Charleston, South Carolina. Emo Essien will toss in. Chauncey Jenkins. His jumper is short, tipped, and taken by Kachera of Davidson. Kachera. Side for Huffman. Stogman trying to get position. Working down low outside to Huffman. Seven to shoot. Huffman behind the back pass. Two to shoot. And a block. And that's a shot clock violation on Davidson. Tremendous defensive help there. Tremendous defensive effort that time. There you see the drive, and Davidson comes over, Williams comes over and makes a great block on that. Fifth block of the season for Williams. Tied for the team high after that rejection. Jenkins. D'Angelo Steins now in. Charles Smith in as well. Block to three. The launch by Steins, missing it. Off the back of the rim, a Kachero rebound. That was not an offense, a good offensive sequence that time for Old Dominion. Skogman from deep, and he is fouled behind the arc. It'll be three free throws. Yalong got him on his arm that time, but I just think Old Dominion has to do a better job of cracking the defense, get into the paint, kick or try to get something on a post up and get some splitters off. Uh, but they have to do something than just settling for those types of shots. So Skogman at the line. Knocks down the first. Coming up later today, we will have our championship game in the Shriners Children's Charleston Classic at 3.30. Virginia Tech and the College of Charleston followed by the third place game. Penn State against Colorado State. Two outstanding games left today following this one. And the atmosphere will be electric for Virginia Tech who, and College of Charleston.
and for the Hokies, they basically worked themselves into <laughs> a road, a road game, game <laughs> by winning two games. Yeah, but I, I tell you what, it'll really help them. And Coach Young has really done a great job. That Virginia Tech team, boy, they, they have swag. Their success last year, they're really stepping up. Uh, they've got confidence in each other. they got confidence in the coaching staff and vice versa. Skogman heads out after a pair of free throws, 7-0 run. Largest lead of the game for Davidson at 19-14. I like the way Davidson changes their defense. They keep you off balance. They don't give you a steady diet of anything, so you can't just say we're going to attack this guy. Old Dominion has missed on nine of their last ten shots from the field and a reach in here as Williams was in the paint. It'll be Grant Huffman who picks up his first. I think they've really learned to trust Williams at that elbow and getting him the ball and letting him kind of maneuver from there. Into Jenkins, and Jenkins missed it right there at the rim. Stanley's follow is no good, but he was fouled. Jenkins, I'm not sure if he was expecting somebody to be there, but he turned around and realized, oh, I'm right here. Yeah, he kind of what we call short-armed it and everything. And uh, but this young man had a great game the first the first game, played good yesterday. But his ability to score the basketball along long on the wings really gives this old Dominion team a lot of firepower. Michelle Spunion picks up the foul. That's his first. Nineteen fourteen ball game, unable to take advantage of the foul and the free throws there. Meninga, who had a quick start, turn around shot in the lane and it'll go to the line. You cannot let Meninga get in that paint area. He's so big, so strong. That wouldn't surprise me if Old Dominion starts sending some guys down to double him as this game goes on. you got to get him out of his rhythm. you got to make him a passer, not a finisher. So Meninga will step to the stripe. That's the second foul against Dorico Williams. Meninga's first is in. Shooting 64% from the line. See, it, it, yeah, allowing Williams to get caught in a one-on-one -on -one situation uh, and maybe picking up fouls is not an advantage for Old Dominion. I just think they've got to either the place in zone if, in fact, Davidson is going to continue to try to get that matchup. One out of two for Meninga. 20 to 14 ball game. 8.20 left to go. Chauncey Jenkins. His runner off the glass. Missed it. The follow is no good from Williams. Loose ball. Davidson ball. So Old Dominion kind of regressing back to the struggles they've had shooting the basketball. The They're scoring drought heads north of four minutes. They're going 1-3-1 one, one right now. This is the favorite defense of Coach Jones, and it really, again, gives them a little different look. I just think that early in the season, going zone and just giving a team something that they haven't really seen or practiced a lot against helps you because um, it's one thing to go against something and practice is something else to do it when the lights are on. Six-point lead. Held by Davidson. Kachera. Gets it back from Huffman. Five to shoot. Huffman slips in. Lays it up and in. Grant Huffman wiggled his way through the ODU defense. A 15-2 run. Very active. A part of the action offensively here for Davidson. Throughout this Shriners Children's Charleston Classic. On the season, averaging 14 points and a team-high seven rebounds per game. Well, we'll round it up to eight. <laughs> Close enough. Eight rebounds. A little pressure now by Davison just to give Old Dominion a different look coming out of the timeout. Quick start by ODU, but serious struggles from the field since. Open is Stanley. And we'll try to find another 
avenue to score. The three is in from Chauncey Jenkins. So Stanley had some room there to shoot, but gave it up. Better option. Well, yeah, you know, he was trying to attack the front of the rim again, and when they collapsed on him, he was able to kick the ball to the shooter and get a wide open shot. Jenkins does a good job of shooting the basketball. I mean, he and Long do a really, really good job with that. First foul on Jenkins. After the three, he'll head to the bench. Team foul number six of the half, committed by Old Dominion, who is shooting 34% in this half. In the Meninga. Lawyer. Meninga trying to spin off again. Double teamed at the rim, goes up, can't get it. A collision as Reed Bailey came flying in and knocked Williams to the floor. That's an easy call. came right in there and knocked over Williams and he'll head out of the game. That's one way of creating space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's his first foul of the game. Approaching six and a half left to go. First half. Shriners Children's Charleston Classic. Thanks for joining us today. Derek Jones and Perry Clark with you. The fifth place game. Emo Essien working baseline. The floater is no good. A little bit too strong. Moyer with the rebound. Moyer always comes down with his head up, looking for his options. He looks to go into the post first and then goes to the main for the shooter. Meninga. Now outside, Kachera launches a three. It's going. Give Moyer a lot of his, give him an assist off of that. First field goal of the game for Kachera. It is an eight-point lead for Davidson at 25 to 17. Stanley bumping down low. Turnaround shot misses. Moyer with a loose ball. And the Watson. Watson gets blocked. The ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Davidson. They, they really do a good job of moving the basketball to chair right there for the three. I love the way this Davidson team passes this basketball. They, If a guy's open, they give him the ball where he can catch and shoot. The ball does never sticks. Stokeman back in. Puts on the floor, drives with the right hand and finishes. These big bodies of Davidson are really taking advantage of Old Dominion players. They're catching it, they're putting it on the floor, and they're getting the ball to where they want to get it and best able to operate offensively. Ten-point lead after the Skogman bucket. Long has been quiet offensively, feeds Jenkins. Shot clock to three. Into the corner, Essien fires a three. That's no good, and the rebound, well, was taken by Long. And he stepped out of bounds. Old Dominion's gotten no easy baskets. Yesterday, they were in transition. They got easy baskets. They were able to knock down threes. They were able to get some penetration. None of that has been working so far today. It's been like a tractor pull trying to score for them. Yeah, that's not going to work that way. <laughs> <laughs> and the whistle here this time will go the other way. Foul picked up by Meninga. That's his first. Off the offensive foul. So Sean Logan back in, by the way. Meninga bangs for every position on the low post off of every play. And this is first foul. You like guys like that. Slumping ODU offense trying to get going. They've missed on nine of their last ten from the field. Davidson uses their size, they use their arms to take away driving lanes, and they just deter you from penetrating because of their physical presence. Long, can't finish, knocked out of bounds. Davidson ball. They get their hand up on every shot. There's, Old Dominion's not had a clean look at a basket. 
for a long time today. As a part of that, ODU starting the game 6 of 9 from the field. They're 2 of 18 since. Yikes. Skogman. Now near side for Watson, 10 to shoot. Under four minutes left to go. First half. Watson. Pump fake by Skogman. Try to feed it outside with one. Watson short on the jumper. Scott Grayson into the front court. Swings it. Jenkins three. Misses the rim. Tracked down by Long. Scott Grayson will take a try at it. Falls back, hits a shot. So Tariq Scott Grayson able to put a little bit of a dent in this offensive drought for ODU. And Jeff Jones is imploring his team, move the ball, swing the ball, swing the ball. They have to beat this Davidson team with their quickness. Kachara beats ODU to the rim to move the lead back to 10. Davidson does a great job of bringing cutters from the weak side to the ball side. And if you trail a cutter coming through the scoring area, he's going to get the ball and you're going to foul him. A turnover off the drive by Scott Grayson. Lawyer on the move. Ten point lead for Davidson. Near side for Lawyer. Slips now back on his feet. With 10 to shoot. Pass intercepted by Long. Two on three. Essien backs up. Essien. Room for a three. That's good. Emo Essien. That's what Coach Jones has been trying to get him to do. Don't let the ball stick. Move it. We'll get an open shot. Get it. Drive it. Kick it. Five in a row. For the Monarchs, seven-point lead. Logan sets a screen for Lawyer. Outside, Skogan. His three, no good. Ball tipped and grabbed by Kachera. They run a little horns action right here. Kachera will fire it up, no good. ODU with a chance here with 90 seconds left to go to dig in to the deficit further. It's hard for Old Dominion to drive the ball. Davidson doing a good job of plugging the hole. And they're using their size to make blocks like that to finish. Scott Grayson blocked. They'll get the ball back when we come back out of the timeout. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by four spots. South Carolina upsetting Tennessee thanks to a spectacular performance by Spencer Rattler. Tuesday night, get all the details. Out of the timeout, ODU basketball. Three seconds. Scott Grayson short on the jumper, and the loose ball taken by Lawyer. Lawyer with seven, trying for ten. Got it. Big time shot right there. Lawyer used the screen, faded on the action as he got a screen from Bailey. Davidson has so many different ways they can attack you offensively. Ten point lead. Solid club last year, 27 at seven season. Reach the NCAA tournament. Long drives, hits the floor hard. You never like to see guys drive the ball and give themselves up to where they're exposed. They can either come down on their head, their shoulders. There you see him driving. He just exposed himself, and he just comes down hard right there on the floor. Kachera picks up the foul. That's number one on Kachera. Team foul number six on the Wildcats. As a coach, you try to teach the guy to come down on your feet, you know, and, and not land on your shoulder or your head, yeah. but come down under control. Long has had a good start to the season in terms of scoring and rebounding. 
averaging over 10 points per game and nine rebounds a game. He's done a good job of stretching the floor for Old Dominion because of his range. And they haven't given him a lot of looks today. And one of the team's top defenders, without a doubt, as well. Makes it a nine-point game at 32, 23, 20 seconds left to go in the half. Huffman. Look for a stagger and a pick and pop. Huffman into the corner. Bailey. Two to shoot. Lost it. And that's a wrap on half one. Davidson up by nine. Our halftime opponents 82 to 54 through the first two games. Today, it's just a 19-17 advantage overall. Eight to two, though, on the offensive glass. Yeah, Davidson's size and strength has def definitely given um, Old Dominion some problems. ODU will start with a basketball. Stanley will try a three. That catches the front of the rim. Possession Jeff for Jones Davidson. is I'm sorry, is really upset with something. He went right to the bench to get Jenkins up. Perhaps not exactly thrilled with what he saw there on that first possession. You know, in halftime, you go over stuff, you go over what we're trying to do. You come out the first play, and they run completely opposite of what you want to do. As Stanley comes out, obviously he did not want that shot off of that pass. He doesn't even want to talk to him. He's just sitting him down the end of the bench. I spent the whole halftime going over it with you. There's nothing more I can say. It's something when that bench talks to you now. When that bench it has a voice of its own. And when you sit over there, you hear it in your ear. And you don't need a lot of coaches saying stuff, but that bench can really talk to you. Uh, you, you, get, you get replaced in 35 seconds. That's The message is out there. Lawyer. Menenga, he'll try from deep. No good there. Essien. This Davidson team is so sound. They have not given up any easy transition baskets. For the block, Jenkins scores. So Chauncey Jenkins comes in right away and gives Old Dominion some offense. Jenkins keeps saying, what coach, what do I have to do to start? I mean, I give you buckets, I rebound the ball. What do I have to do to start? He had over 20 points in their first outing here and came in off the bench in their game on Friday. As Menenga misses the layup, but the miss was aided with a foul. Meninga does a good job with playing angles. And he winds up finding an angle on your body where he can get by you. And the only way you can try to stop him is come through him. And he winds up getting to the foul line. It's number three on Williams. Mentioned that international pipeline during the first half. That has to be such a boost for Davidson because they're already in a tough area to recruit being in North Carolina. Not far from Charlotte. That's I commonly thought of as ACC country in many places. But you look here, they've had a chance to kind of expand the horizons in terms of recruitment. Well, it's more so the academics. I mean, Davidson is a tremendous school. And looking for that guy that fits that mold is really, really important. Foster Lawyer, he fits the mold quite well. That three extends the lead to 11. Largest of the game. For Davidson. Smith Grayson. And his layup is good. So Tariq Scott Grayson able to get the layup to go. And Scott Grayson making a 36-27 game. Two minutes in. And the other thing that Bob McKillop did when he was at Davidson, he found guys that fit his system and could execute and play the game the way he wanted to play it, which is predicated off skill and execution. Menenga, we saw that spin in the first half. We see it there. He's got two more. I'm telling you, he, he plays the game in angles, and he understands angles. And where at whatever side your body's on, he's going to go the opposite. Jenkins trying to cross over and create. And he does. Jenkins is impressive. I mean, you know. 
we've, we've seen him shoot threes. Now he's attacking the basket with heavy contact. Wichita State transfer has cut this to a nine-point game at 38-29. Meninga again. Williams has to be careful here with the three fouls. Meninga kicks it outside to Huffman, and Huffman walks. There you see get the ball in the Meninga. You see him spin. He already knew where the defensive player was. He spun away from his body to get the basket. There Jenkins is driving. Great elevation. Puts the ball high on the glass. Jenkins. Hand off to Long. Long. Well, Scott Grayson needing to get going here offensively. For ODU in the Williams. Long cuts, throws it up, and it trickles out and into the hands of Connor Kachera. Old Dominion needs Long to get going. He's been, I thought, really important in the last two day games for them being able to score baskets. Menenga barreling in, and that's an offensive foul. He got the angle on the first guy. He didn't see the second guy waiting in the lane as he got the offensive charge there. Number two on Meninga. There you see he's got the angle. He's attacking the basket, but he doesn't see the, the second guy. Great help defense that time by Old Dominion. Matt McKillop looking on. You think he and his dad have a few basketball talks at the dinner table, the breakfast table? <laughs> well, he's been an assistant with the team prior to taking over as head coach. So, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that is that is still happening to some degree. The turn by Scott Grayson missed the shot. Loose. And we'll go back over to Davidson. You know, I as a, a coach coming through, I've learned more basketball when I was with Morgan Wooten at the Matha than with Bobby Crimmins at the at dinner tables or in the hotel rooms just kind of talking and then you're actually doing the office. The learning tree. So you have to keep it going. Huffman. Skogman, right-handed layup, spins in. Really big time play. Being able to set the screen, the big guy rolls, guards being able to find him. It, the, the thing that stops that is the second rotation. David Skogman played with Buffalo last season. Let's push this lead out to 11 at 40 to 29. Jenkins, his floater is good. He's so smooth. Jenkins plays at a pace that allows him to be able to get open, allows him to come off of screens. He drives. He recognizes the floor extremely well. He has nine. Five minutes in, half two. Lawyer. Skogman now. Sets a screen for Watson. Down to four. Down to three for Skogman. Can't get it. Tipped around. Controlled by Menenga. Pump fake. Lawyer three. Rattles out the rebound. Controlled by Faison Fields. Again, Davidson's size has really helped him on the offensive glass. Stanley atones for the miss early <laughs> with the layup. Jeff Jones is clapping. Said, That's where I want you to operate from. <laughs> Don't try to explain to me why you took a three off the first pass. Meninga out to catch. A foul coming up out of this timeout. We'll talk about it. Seven-point lead for Davidson. Tomorrow night in Mexico. Watching this out of bounds play, somebody rolling to the basket, trying to get an easy basket. Lawyer. Oh. Threw that one away. <laughs> that was not the way it was growing up, I can guarantee you that. But a lot of times what they try to do is run some action and slip one of the bigs. Unforced error by the Wildcats. ODU shot 
in the game on Friday, and the win struggling here today. Stanley can't get the air ball and the follow off of it, but able to get to the line here coming up. Stanley's really playing aggressive underneath, and that's where he makes his living. He's so strong. He's really clever around the basket. He's able to get fouled. As we get a look there at the Charleston Classic Rundown, Virginia Tech and Charleston coming up at 3.30 in the championship game. Some thoughts for the week so far as far as what you've seen and noticed. Well, I've, the biggest thing I've noticed is how the coaches are working to bring their teams together and putting, getting guys in rotations and going two guys that they know they're going to have to count on as the season progresses. I mean, these coaches are using this as a growing and learning experience for their team. Lawyer, the feed, Skogman, and that will lead to a whistle here coming up. It'll be against Akai Long. It'll be number two on Long. See, to follow that point, you know, you put some stuff in, you play against real good competition, then you get a break right around exams. All right, so now you got a little bit more practice time, so you can then add, or in that in Christmas, you can add and subtract uh, some things that work, didn't work, and then you get ready for your conference. Skogman in double figures now with 10. And that's, that's a very good point. You know, you look at this field coming in, and this is certainly, I think you could say it for a lot of these teams, this is the toughest game in in the season so far for filling the blank team is that's the kind of field it's been oh without question and even in the summer all the coaches were saying i don't have a feel for my team because of the transfer portal and everything and so they're just trying to get a feel for it speaking of feel uh, old Dominion is starting to knock down some threes and that will really help some things charles smith the fourth from deep five point game 42 37 this first field goal of the contest. Meninga. The flip. To Lawyer. And a steal. Another turnover by Foster Lawyer. In the long layup is going. 10-1 to one for ODU. Because a part of Feast Week presented by Lowe's. And what a run it's been here for ODU. They're a very effective team when they can get out and get in tran transition. Davidson has done a good job making them play half-court basketball so far today, though. Meninga falls to the floor, and a foul called against Faison Fields. Upset with that. Well, they were battling pretty good, and then he had a little extra effort there and did foul him. I think he was more frustrated with himself than he was with the call. Number two on Fields. Skogman. Lawyer, catch and shoot three. Rattles out. And Jenkins swoops in for the rebound. ODU has been in chase mode for just about this whole game, and that will not help travel against Makai Long. Long has not had a lot of good looks. He's normally a really good catch-and-shoot guy. They like to keep him in the corner so he can get a shot off of some sort of rotation or dribble drive. You're just joining us. Old Dominion led in the early stages of this game. But Davidson has put on a charge. Some good defense, timely offense. To lead it by three, but ODU surging. Meninga surging to the rim. Yeah, you cannot bluff at him. That time Old Dominion watched him back the guy down, take his time and score. If you're going to go double, you got to go double. They were faking like they were coming, but that does not discourage him at all. Meninga with 12, and he's 5 of 7 from the field. Smith clears out room. Too strong on the jumper. Stanley battles. Gets the loose ball and the bucket. Ben Stanley. His is, second effort. He's so strong around the basket. And Stanley knows how to use his body, protect the ball. Lawyer. Sign for Meninga. 
Lawyer gets to the foul line, pops it up, and in. <laughs> the little guy knows how to use the screens now. I mean, he knows how to maneuver around those bigs and get to a spot, and he does a great job of running the, uh, the Davidson offense. The senior with 15. The layup is no good from Ben Stanley. The follow is, though. Stanley stuck with it, gets two, and cuts it to a three-point game again as he lets out a yell. They see my name. One with Shriners Children's for putting on an amazing event over the last few days. The support staff has done an excellent job. They've been here longer than this tournament has gone on to help set everything up, and the hospitality has been awesome. Three-point edge here for the Wildcats. Lawyer into Meninga. Meninga double team splits it and missed the layup. That might have been the easiest shot he's had all day. Jenkins. Scott Grayson in the mix. Jenkins jumper too long and strong, and the rebound taken by Meninga. Meninga is a really impressive player. He's big, he's strong, he's agile, and all he does is play. I mean, he just banged a lot of times. You never see him complain to the officials. And a blocking foul against Chauncey Jenkins. It'll be number two on Jenkins. So Jenkins will head out. He gave Older Man a really big boost the time he was in there. He's played well the whole tournament. Absolutely. Skogman with the feed to Lawyer. And Lawyer lost the ball. We've seen a couple of those turnovers from Lawyer here. But you know what? He dribbles with his head up. He's always looking to see where the open man is. And he's really the leader of this ball club. Ninth turnover. For Davidson. Stanley. Watson with the rebound. And we'll get a foul here. Watson was falling out of bounds. He tried to throw that one off Williams. And for Williams, that's going to be his fourth foul. And Coach Jones again is, is, is getting on Stanley. Like, why are you shooting that shot? Why don't you take the ball to the basket? We're getting you good looks doing that. Lawyer, by the way, four turnovers in this game. ODU just has three as a team. Lawyer. Stuck. Watson over to Skogman. Shot clock under 10. Lawyer tries a jumper. No good. Stanley with a board. Another opportunity to try to cut into this deficit. The layup at the rim is in. So Faison Fields digs in and cuts it to a one-point game at 46-45. Skogman with the pump fake. The kick. Good defense. From Long battling against Watson. Shot misses the rim. And Meninga at point blank range could not get it. Scott Grayson outside of the block. His jumper to, for the lead is short. And the rebound back over. Look for Davidson now to go to their sets and really try to get the ball into one of their scorers' hands. Lobbed into Meninga. Meninga and one. That's good coaching. When the game gets tight, put the ball in your hands to your best draw. And the way they're able to do this off the ball screen and roll, pick and roll, they throw the lob, he's able to finish late on the weak side help. The game isn't overly complicated. Find your best player, figure out how to get him the ball, what position, what plays you need to run, and then go through him whenever you get in trouble. So I want to go back to a point you made about Stanley, which we'll get to after this free throw by Meninga, which is in to get the lead out to four at 49-45.
How do you coach your players who maybe want to take a shot that you don't like? How do you get them out of that? Let the bench talk to them. <laughs> That's the best way. They sit over there, it gets awful cold, awful lonely. Scott Grayson, and that ball was last touched by ODU. Four-point lead for Davidson. 7.50 left to go from Charleston. Charleston Classic, fourth time playing in the tournament. First appearance in the championship game. Look for Davidson right now to really try to execute and get a really good shot. Either rolling the big one of the big guys or getting a wide open three point shot. And a steal by Scott Grayson. Essien looking to distribute. Instead, he'll try a jumper that catches the iron. That's really not his shot, and Jeff Jones is real frustrated. He's really good in transition, getting the open three in transition, not off of creating. Lobbed into Meninga, deflected and stolen. They're looking for Stanley inside. Seven minutes left. Scott Grayson, the kick. Now Fields, working against Meninga. Jumper no good. Boyer with the rebound. By the way, in that Virginia Tech College of Charleston game, Virginia Tech looking to win the Charleston Classic for the first time since 2018. They grabbed the title there and eventually used that to propel themselves to a Sweet 16 appearance. Well, this is a very confident Virginia Tech team. Kachera throws one up. It's an air ball. Scott Grayson with the easy grab. That's the end. Only a four-point game, but these two offenses. Old Dominion has to either work through Stanley or work through Jenkins. Two offenses petering here to the finish line. Baseline for Fields. Fields against Meninga again. Hook shot, no good. Meninga rebound. Four straight misses for ODU. The Wildcats haven't scored in over two minutes. Lawyer, straight on jumper, got it. Foster Lawyer from inside the top of the arc. Extends the lead to six at 51-45. But that's the action that they love. Right there. Ball screen, roll the post. Lawyer has it wide open look. Timeout called by Jeff Jones and old the app. It'll be interesting to see how Shibwe comes out. He's been battling a little bit of a, a knee injury. He had some minor work done prior to the start of the season. Got back out there on Thursday. We'll see if he'll be ready to roll. Coming up tonight should be, according to reports. Oh, Williams had that ball go between his hands, out of bounds. Davidson ball. Tough break. <laughs> Jeff Jones set up a beautiful play right there. Got some false action. Got the ball screen and roll for Williams, and it goes right through his hands. How frustrating is that for a coach uh, when he set it up? Meninga. Watson. Runner. No good. Lipped out. Meninga battling. No good on the shot. Stanley rebound. That's the first time Meninga has rushed the shot. He's always seemed to take his time, get his balance, find the basket. That time he rushed it a little bit. Jenkins. Scoop. No good. Williams battling. His shot is in. Dorico Williams. Cuts it to a four-point game. Williams has come in and done a heck of a job for Old Dominion off the glass. Again, I think Coach Jones is seeing he's got a lot of pieces with this Old Dominion team. He's got the versatility. They can do a lot of things. They rebound the ball. They can shoot it. They can defend. And Inga, the kick for Kachera. His three. Off. And controlled here by the Monarchs. Number four left. Look for him to try to get the ball into Stanley. 
He's got it here. He's not giving it up. And a foul coming up. Now you see Jenkins going to the glass, trying to do the scoop. Williams rebound, finishes. Old Dominion on a roll. Dominion has really settled down defensively and made they've taken away a lot of Davidson inside looks. Into Stanley. Scott Grayson, now Jenkins. Ten seconds to shoot here for ODU, who has played a better brand of basketball here in half two, but Stanley blocked there at the rim, out of bounds, back over to ODU, but five to shoot. These guys are trying to talk this officiating crew in the we're calling <laughs> fouls, and, and these guys have worked multiple NCAA tournaments, Final Fours. That's not happening. The lob into Williams, and we'll get a foul. And if this is against Williams, he's gone. I, I think he just kind of threw his defender out of the way. I, Davidson did a good job of getting in his way, and he just kind of throws the guy out of his way. It wasn't a lot. I mean, that's tough for the fifth. It wasn't a lot. So he's done and clearly frustrated. <laughs> Four points, three rebounds, but five fouls. And with 3.29 left to go, you don't want to lose the post presence. And especially someone that's played that well for the whole game. Especially with some of these long arms for the Wildcats. Lawyer gets a step. Missed the layup. Meninga gets it, though. He finishes. He's, Sam Meninga. He's just so big and strong, and he uses his body for position. And I tell you, he plays angles extremely well. 17 and 6 for Meninga, tied for the team high in scoring with Foster Lawyer. Stanley powers through two defenders, can't get it to go. Lawyer with the rebound at six feet tall, able to squeeze in there and get the board. When I talk about Meninga's playing angles, he takes, he never goes through the defensive player. The defensive player is always on his hip. Lawyer with the feed. Down low to Meninga. Turning and going glass. Sam Meninga, 19, the lead all scores. He plays with such a pace. Eight point lead. See, this is where it's tough for Old Dominion because they really don't have a guy that can break a defense down and get easy shots. That's why they need transition. Jenkins, the one-legged runner, no good. Meninga battling and scrapping and getting the rebound. Watch on this play. Meninga, he gets set. He finds the defense, then he spins away from him. That's what I'm talking about, using angles. So he doesn't ever go through the defense. He finds the open angle and makes the layup. He's big, he's strong, he uses his body, creates space. Scoring is always about creating space. You either do it with speed, you do it with your arms, you do it with your legs. But you have to create the space. 6'9", 240, not hard to do for him. Three fouls from Akai Long. And the first is in. So it's a bonus situation moving forward here for Davidson. Nine team fouls committed by Old Dominion. You know, this Old Dominion team has played well today. I mean, they've had the spurts, but I thought that they have managed and has really played well. But Davidson has played with such poise. As the second one by Meninga is in. He's got 21. He has scored the last six points for Davidson. The lead up to 10. Stanley and one. Big bucket for Ben Stanley with just under two minutes left. And that's where Stanley has lived. But again, they run off the high ball screen. Meninguez goes to hedge. They roll Stanley. He finishes at the run. Stanley at the stripe. Gets the free throw. 
that they got to come up with some pressure right now. They've got to come up with some pressure. Still a lot of time. Try to get a steal. Boyer, who has turned it over a handful of times in this game, threw that one away. He's saying it was touched by an ODU player. They'll review it. I, I think he had a point. I, I, I thought it was touched. Uh, maybe it wasn't. Mm. Maybe it wasn't. Let's see. They close in on him. And got in there at the very end. You can see why the officials would make that call, though, because that's very tough to see from the naked eye, but caused a change of direction. No, there's no Dominion ball. Carl right. stood. Well, Stanley in, flips it up, no good, and controlled by Jenkins back outside. And that will go over as a double dribble. So we were right, partner. I mean, the, the, the call stood. I mean, we just got tricked into the high. We were yes, we were right. That was the overriding one. We were right. Uh, although I will say that last replay looked like lawyer did maybe had a point. Watch the pressure again. Meninga inside the midcourt line. Lawyer. They're gonna control. keep the ball in lawyer's hands. If they foul, that's who they that's who Davidson wants them to have to foul. Lawyer has a second double double of his career, 17 points and 10 rebounds today. In the lane, lost the ball. Watson, turnover. And they'll review it. So here we go. Again. Every time Davidson loses the ball, that's that replay. Replay. <laughs> they talked me into that last one. Well, I'll, I'll have to see if they can do it again. Seven point lead here for Davidson, 57 50, with 110 left to go. That one works. Okay, right now, they need a quick basket. It doesn't have to be a three, but they need a quick basket because they need possessions. Top of the key. Smith. No good on the jumper. The tip back by Scott Grayson is good. Five-point game, under a minute left, 57-52. One timeout left for ODU, two left for Davidson. The hard steal. Kachera inside of the midcourt line. Oh, that's an offensive foul. Oh, yeah. Got him right in the chest. You know, <laughs> quick shot is what you want. Get on the offensive glass. Now get your pressure up. Now make them put it on the floor. He's not going in. Where are you going? He's not going anywhere. You need to pass the ball and move the ball. Make them have to foul you. You don't run away from pressure. You absorb pressure. The layup by Jenkins oh. missed it. He got right to the rim. And Skogman is fouled. That was a big miss. Jenkins got right to the rim. Clear shot at the basket and just missed the bunny. That's number four, Makai Long. And you're right. That was what they were looking for. Easy bucket to cut it to a one-possession game. They don't get it. And now Davidson has a chance to extend this. I mean, you couldn't have, you couldn't have asked for anything more if you're Old Dominion. You, uh, you just had to make the shot. Skogman's first is good. He's had a nice game today. He's got 12. Shooting 78% from the line. And look at the free throw discrepancy nearly doubling up. And then some. ODU. You, may, you have to hit a three. You've got to chase a three right now. You need the three. Long can't connect on the three off of Kachera, ODU basketball. The threes have been hard to come by here for ODU in this game. The Monarchs shooting just three of 13 from beyond the arc. Well, he had a pretty good look that time. Catch and shoot by Smith, it's good. The three-pointer by Charles Smith. 
cuts it to four. And a foul here committed against Foster Lawyer with 30 seconds left. There you see they get it in right away. Quick shot. Knock it down. Set play. Lawyer, 87% on the year. Sinks the first. Lawyer is not going to give the ball up for Davison. He's the guy that they want to go to the line. Second. Got that one as well. Six-point lead, 61-55. 30.2 left. You need a quick hitter. Jenkins into Stanley. Stanley going at Meninga. Turnaround shot is good. 61-57. Timeout called by Old Dominion. That's their last timeout. They really and they haven't been able to get it to a one-possession game from that point on. Watson holding, holding, and a timeout granted to Davidson right on the line of a five-second call. The hope left to go here in the Shriners Children's Charleston Classic from TD Arena. The hospitality this week here in Charleston has been outstanding. No question. Although I don't have your clout, I couldn't get in all the fancy I, restaurants. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> a foul here. His foster lawyer will go to the free throw line to try to ice him. I, I, I will say that's number three, by the way, on Jenkins. There is some exceptional food here in, in, in Charleston. Let's let's not bury the lead. Yeah, it's fantastic. So lawyer at the stripe. He'll have free throw attempts 20 and 21 for the Wildcats. Now three of three from the stripe. Again, keeping the, keeping the ball in his hands. A lot of times we have a guy that good a foul shooter, you double team him and let let somebody else catch it and you foul them. Missed the second one, five point game, 17 seconds left to go. Stanley lays it up and in. One possession game, 62-59, 13 seconds left to go. No timeouts left Neither for the Stanley. Monarchs. Don't let Lawyer get it. Make somebody else beat you. Do not let Lawyer get it. Make somebody else beat you. That's what Jeff is telling him. Double team Lawyer. Don't let him get it. Don't let him get it. He got it anyway. And the Lawyer, and he is fouled. And, and you're right, that's the guy you don't want to foul. But it's smart on the side of Davidson. They put the ball in his hands. Well, he, it, but give Lawyer a lot of credit. He just kept working because they had double teamed him to try to take him away, but he didn't just stand there and say, okay, I'm double team. I'm not going to move. He cut hard to the ball, got it, because he wants to get back to the line. That's what leaders do. The lawyer is exactly that. First free throw is good. Four-point game again. Second one is good as well. He didn't even hit the rim on any of the shots. 64-59 with 10 seconds left. Jenkins all the way in with an emphatic dunk to make it 64-61. 6.8 left. Don't let him catch it. Make somebody else get the ball. Make somebody else get the ball. Two players on Lawyer. And it's stolen. And, oh, Scott Grayson stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds in front of the ODU bench. Oh, man. That's a tough call right there. Oh, yes. The slimmest of escapes. Same strategy, though. Don't let Lawyer get it. Down the floor for Meninga. Meninga dunks it with 4.1 left to go. And that may do it. Five-point game, two seconds left, loose ball, and a jump ball called. The possession arrow points in favor of Davidson, and that'll be all she wrote with a tenth of a second left to go. To answer your question earlier, 
Yes, Jeff Jones has a lot to be proud of. Davidson hangs on for a 66-61 win over Old Dominion. Let's take a look at our player of the game brought to you by Shriners Children's, Sam.